Teresa Adler's ancestors have walked these shores on Botany Bay for generations. This anniversary provokes mixed emotion. It's about never forgetting our past, thinking of the present and what, what can unfold for the next 250 years. On this day in 1770, Captain Cook and his crew arrived in Botany Bay. Records tell the story of a conflict between two Aboriginal men and the British. Terra Australis Incognita. I have deep sadness, but you know, 250 years is about changing that story. Ray Ingray is a Dharawal leader. He's working with historians to rewrite the stories of first contact, to include the tales of those standing on the shore. When they seen the Endeavour come in, they thought it was actually low-lying cloud because all they could see is whiteness. And in Dharawal culture, in low-lying clouds, spirits of the dead return to this country. And so they saw them as ghosts. It's these journals from Cook's crew that formed our understanding of the encounter. The first recorded Indigenous words are transcribed here as Warra Warra wa. The sailors thought it meant go away, but they might have got that wrong. Warra, for us, it's a dual name meaning white and dead. All they were saying to the crew was that you're all dead. An exhibition at the State Library of New South Wales aims to take a fresh look at Cook's landing. It's celebrated, it's commemorated. Um, but it's also contested. Due to coronavirus, public events to mark this significant anniversary that were planned around the country have now been cancelled. Our shared history may not have been a good one, but how then we can accept that it wasn't a good history and how we can move forward together. Isabella Higgins, ABC News, Botany Bay.